We were here in May. You were relatively optimistic. People were worried about the economy and inflation and, and Fed hikes. And you said, I don't really see a recession. So far, you're right. Is that still how you feel? Well, it's interesting. Hard to call even back then with three and a half percent unemployment. How do you call it a recession? Yet, when you say I'm optimistic, I've always felt the Fed was going to be very serious and uh, raise rates beyond what people thought. I still think too much optimism here. Um, You're not in the pivot camp or the pause camp. They might slow down slightly, but I think we're in the eye of the hurricane right now. It's there's a lot of good news out there. Um, so people are extrapolating that. I think the Fed is going to still raise rates higher and longer. Look, the Fed has made a statement that they want to break unemployment. They want to take unemployment from three and a half up. I think it's going to be much harder than they think. The economy, companies like my own, we worked very hard for these workforces. And it's not the economy of the 1970s when you broke, where you have manufacturing brick and mortar. Most companies are their people. They are their culture. They spend a lot of money to keep everybody together through COVID. I'll tell you, me personally and people I talk to, we're not going to give it up that easy. We're not going to mass lay people off. I think it's going to be- You're not? Because some of your competitor investment banks, Goldman, Morgan, we're seeing layoffs there. Well, much larger workforces do several different things. So you're um, not laying off people? No, we are. We're gonna. I will take a lot of pain to keep the talent. You're cutting compensation. Sure, it's. Uh, By how uh, much? Well, our people are in the business of. They are their own businesses, so they know how their businesses are doing, and they go up and down with their business. But to actually just take a mass layoff, I think mo most American companies are fundamentally defined by their people these days. It's a digital economy. It's a. Your people are your workforce, and and that's why I think. It's going to be hard to break this unemployment rate, and it's going to be harder than people think. But really what they want to break is the inflation rate, and, and right. there are signs that that is working. Look, 6.5% is different than 8%, but 65 is not going to be acceptable. Um, and unemployment is staying. The Fed has said they're going to look at unemployment. What I do think they have to look at is basic fiscal policy, energy policy. A lot of this is self-inflicted uh, from the West's, I think, absurd energy policy, but... Um, you blame the Biden administration for that? Well, I think there's... No, because Western Europe is probably... If, if we're shooting ourselves in the foot, Western Europe is co committing suicide. All right, so you blame Merkel and Biden. <laughs> well, I just think the whole West has gotten their priorities wrong. Um, by the way, it's, it's interesting that the Fed chairman, in a speech about three weeks ago, specifically said, I'm not going to be a climate regulator. He did. I think these are... And by the way, Vanguard pulled out of net zero. BlackRock has come out and said, we are, we've only voted for a quarter of climate initiatives because they're not um, economic.